Well then, hello everyone, and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I'm here on the Crew 2, and I am on the PC, which is very exciting actually, because I get to finally try out this game out and see what it's like on the PC, of course. Uh, when I was playing on the console, it was very, very fun. It was good. I enjoyed it quite a lot, but I think what I needed to try out is what it was like on the PC. Nice 60 crisp, uh, nice 60 crisp, nice 60 FPS. Nice and beautiful and crisp, so as you can see, my apartment is pretty much empty right now because I've only just started the game. How do I turn this off? Why can I lean? I don't know why I can lean. I want to be able to turn this off. I don't want to listen to my, to, to the ad. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and customize our vehicle here, which is a Mustang. So, in today's video, I ended up uh, pretty much, well not in today's video, but today, as I've downloaded the Crew 2 on the PC, I decided to go with something different than the console. And on the console, I ended up buying the Audi TT RS. Uh, so I thought on the PC I could try something else. Try something rear-wheel drive maybe as our first car. So I bought the Mustang. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and customize it to build it up pretty much. Then I'm going to go ahead and drive it and actually show you guys what this thing is like on the road. And what is it like to drive? That looks so sick. I mean, we can pretty much have the exact same... Ooh, damn. There's so many things. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm definitely choosing this, the carbon fiber bonnet. That pretty much just looks like a, a Shelby bonnet. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford all this stuff. I only, I have oh, just not the right thing to do. I only have a little bit of money right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to get as many nice parts as I possibly can for this thing. Obviously, I'm going to end up lowering it. There's so many parts for this. Alright, well, I know which ones I'm gonna go for. It's gonna be something that looks like this, right? I want the... Uh, actually, do I want the little split? Yeah, I do. I want the little splitter at the front. Um, extra lights to the grill. Yes, please. I'm gonna go for the rims. There's so many rims. I remember that there's so many rims for this. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to find a good set of wheels. I'll be, I'll be right back. Jesus, I forgot that there's so many wheels in this game. Alright, I found a good set of wheels. I like these. I think they look great. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I can now change the color of our caliper if I really want to. Which, sure, I will. Let's just paint them red. Uh, we can change our side mirrors, we can just turn them into carbon fiber if we really wanted to. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep the side mirrors the same color as the car. Side skirts, we can't really change much here, so I guess we're gonna stick with those. Sure. Um, for our next bit, the rear wing, right? Let's have a look and see what we can do to this thing from the rear end. It's not a lot of stuff that we can change on it. Um, I think I'm kind of happy with the first one. I don't really want one of these, like, bigger wings. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna stick with the first one. Alright, now, rear bumper. Let's start changing things here, and let's see what we could do. Uh, I want a nicer set of exhaust. I, don't, I definitely don't want the center exhaust. This doesn't look too bad. All right, that just looks pretty mental. So, I think the only one that we can actually change to that I really like is gonna be... This one right here, right? Um, I don't want the top bit to be carbon fiber, so black is perfectly fine. Choose that. If we go for the interior color, as I've been sort of told before, if I do select a specific color, I'm going to be able to change it after. So let's go with a nice red interior. Red interiors are nice. Always, always nice. So we can change either the, the stitching or the highlights or anything like that. So I think something like this would be nice, right? So the stitching in the center part of the seats. Just little accents here and there, and then interior material, we can change it from, I guess, cloth to to suede, suede or, uh, or Alcantara, I guess. I mean, they all pretty much look very, very similar, so. Ooh, we could have, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. So, we have this one, which is the normal one, right? We have this, which is carbon fiber, then we have this one, which is like sort of like a piano black, which I kind of like a lot. So that's what I'm going to end up choosing that. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it for this. There's not really a lot of stuff that we can do to this Mustang. So, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to probably also repaint this into a, a slightly nicer color. I just realized I haven't bought the uh, the brake calipers. I haven't bought the, the part from. I mean, I don't really know what sort of color we can go for this thing. I... I mean, we could go for something similar to the Bullet Mustang, but I don't really want it, to be honest. I think blue suits this a lot, but I think a slightly lighter blue... Slightly lighter blue would look even better, and it does. It does look really, really good. Something like this. I know this is, like, very, very similar to just a, an actual Mustang color, which is kind of why I like it a lot. Alright, cool. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all we have here. Can we lower this thing? I kind of want to lower it. I don't think we can. 
uh, at the moment. I think I have to unlock it in the full game, if I remember correctly. Um, that's how it works. So if I go back, right? So if I leave this place with the Mustang. It looks good. It actually does look really, really good. So if I do this and I go to vehicles, performance, pro settings. Right? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So I can change the, the camera. Suspension compression. I'm guessing that's... Is, is that it? Like, I don't know. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to end up lowering this fully. Uh, but people can let me know down in the uh, in the comments. I can't just choose the, the thing. Can I, can I just go on the part itself, maybe? If I collect details for this thing? No, I can't. No. Alright, well, I'll figure it out some other time. Anyway, that's pretty much the Mustang build. I think it looks great. Sounds good too, and uh, I'm going to show you guys what it drives like. Also, again, 60 FPS on the PC. Uh, I'm very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and do this race here, which uh, also I feel like some of these races, especially this one here, which I think is like one of the fastest ones to get money with, um, if you have the, the proper parts. The recommended like stat for this should be at, your car should be at like 230. Mine's at 131. It was even lower when I started it. And uh, I just set it to hard, and it was still really easy to beat. So I feel like they should make some of these races a little bit more difficult if I set it to hard. Because it is kind of easy to beat. But yeah, it's it's a lot more fun driving this than it was the TTRS. The TTRS is so easy to just, just toss into corners, and you have instant all-wheel drive grip all the time. This one's so much easier to spin out. I did not expect that. I mean, obviously it makes a lot more sense, because it is rear-wheel drive, it's heavier, it's bigger, it has a l well, it doesn't have a lot more power, but it has a little bit more power, it has a little bit more torque, I guess, than the TTRS, because of its 5-liter engine, but, like, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to drive, let's just put it that, because I have to be a little bit more careful with the way I'm taking corners and stuff like that. If I pop my wheels up on the curb, like my front wheels, for example, the rear ones just go, because I'll just, like, the front end will catch so much grip, the back end will step out, and if I'm not careful, I will end up, I will end up sliding this. So again, very, very easy to get the back out on this thing if I'm not careful. Much, much easier than it was in the TTRS. So let me know what you guys think of the quality of the video. I'm trying my best to sort of render videos as high as I possibly can in quality. Um, without going into 4K, right? I, I'm not playing this game on 4K, but if I go into 4K, the the, uh, the game will look a little bit nicer because it's going to give, or YouTube's going to give me better... Oh, God. YouTube's going to give me better... Um, um, what's it called? Better um, bitrate, right, for my videos. But not everybody's going to be able to, like, just select 4K and watch on their computer, even though the video is still going to play in 1080p. It's just going to be sort of upscaled to 4K. Um, so, it's... Instead of me doing that, I'm going to try to keep it in 1080p. I want to try to see how good the quality is of it. And of course, you guys let me know. Um, again, the 60 FPS thing is the biggest thing, I think, for me um, with this game. Like, if I play it on console versus playing it on the PC, I think playing it on the PC is just so much more enjoyable with this with this quality as well. The game is maxed out on Ultra as well. I can't really change any of the settings specifically, which I probably can in the full game. But for right now... I just set the setting to Ultra and everything is pretty much maxed out, I guess. It, I think it just looks better overall, playing this game on the PC. The only problem is that if people don't get this game on the PC, I'm not going to be able to do... Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to do, like, proper open lobbies because it's not cross-platform. That's, that's kind of annoying. And that is the only reason why I sort of hesitated to get this game on the PC, but, I mean... I'm gonna end up doing a lot more videos than open lobbies on this game, so I thought to myself, why not make my videos much higher quality than they are on, on console? And uh, I guess the open lobbies can, I guess, suffer a little bit. I'll still end up streaming this, the crap out of this game. Also, actually, um, I think today is a day where I'm gonna end up streaming this game, so if you guys are watching this video right now, um, I should probably be live, or if I'm not live, I'll probably be live. No, 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 Travis, no, no, he just, he braked, he braked the slow down. <laughs> I can't believe I lost. <laughs> oh, I can't believe, he braked and slowed me down. That was terrible. I've won every single time I've raced, every single time, and now this happens. 
when I'm recording the video, I lose. <sighs> Every single time I've won. Every time. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, as you can see, I'm using my mouse right now to sort of uh, look around as well. I can't zoom in and out, can I? Uh, also, I don't really like the thing at the top left. Um, I can probably get rid of it, right? So I should be able to uh, get rid of this, right? Mute list, no? Can I not get rid of this, this whole thing here? I can't make it smaller. Or I can only make it bigger, right? I can't change this. I don't know. I can't really get rid of this thing at the top left of my screen. Can I? M? No. M is map. Yeah, if there's a way to get rid of that at the top left of my screen, let me know. I don't like it being there. Um, I know this game is like sort of like an online thing. But I don't really like it being there. I just want to like hide it. I don't know if there is. There probably is like a button to just get rid of it, which I haven't actually figured out yet. I think I just went into photo mode by pressing P on my okay, keyboard. That's the yeah, photo I just did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Shut up. Even better, you can capture modes what did I just tell you? Album. Stop talking. If the pictures a tough one to take, don't worry. You can go back and forth on the timeline to find that one perfect moment. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to sort of mess around with this game, see what it's like on the PC. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel, and um, once the game is fully out, of course, I'm going to end up making a lot of videos on it. Um, so that's going to be kind of cool. Um, yeah, let me know what it looks like. Let me know what you guys think of the game on, on the PC compared to the videos I uploaded on, on console. For the people that can watch videos in 60 frames per second, um, let me know if it looks uh, if it looks a lot better or, or whatever. But yeah, this is it. This was the Mustang build, I guess. A nice little build, just something to test out the, the game on the PC and see what it's like for videos. It records very easy. There's no stutter. There's no lag. Uh, whatsoever for me, so I'm kind of happy with that. I kind of want to try see what it's like to stream this game. That's I think the the, the next big thing. So uh, I will try to stream it later on in the day. Um, but uh, yeah, I think after this video is out, a few hours later, I will end up streaming. So if you guys want to catch that, uh, there will be a link to the stream down. Anywhere. Stop! Shut up! <laughs> I've tried to speak. Uh, so there will be links in the description box below where you guys can check out all the stuff, especially the link to the stream. So. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel. And if you, again, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it. So, again, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.